Hi, once again, I'm Robert Totten for Oral Communication. And for persuasive speech, I'm going to be talking about piano versus organ. Now, I've been a piano player since I was six years old. So I'm 23 now, so 17 years. I, I've done a little organ, not as much as I've been doing lately now, where I, it's actually my job. But before then, I was just kind of, you know, doing it every now and then, trying to get my fingers under it, you know, trying to broaden my horizon, add to my repertoire as far as instruments. So keep in mind what I'm saying is I am a piano player. But with that being said, I am still a fair-minded individual, and I love the piano so much to the point where I don't see how people even try to say organ is better to play than a piano and not just like anywhere but like churches any other environment organ is better and in my head I'm like uh no no not really not really piano can do can have the same effect on people on organ and then some so there's even more you can do with the piano and keyboard for instance the biggest gripe I have with organs, they don't have weighted keys. Weighted keys is 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 the way you you're able to get play 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 the piano or any other instrument the way you want to. So literally digging the keys. If you're digging in the keys, you're gonna tell if you're on the piano. If you're digging in the keys on the organ, you're not gonna be able to tell because they're not weighted. So, for instance, the bottom of these, the bottom of these keys right here on this piano, they're they're weighted. What I mean by weighted, they have weight to them. So, if I play them lightly, it's gonna be played light. If I play it loudly, if I put some more on it, it's gonna be loud. It's gonna be different for the organ. The organ, if you notice in my previous video, it has nothing. It's just a flat white key, unweighted. Now the way now the reason for that now is if you play the organ, if you play it soft, it'll, it'll sound like this. If you play it loud, it'll sound like this. Soft, loud, soft, loud. Very loud, very soft. Same thing. Now people will argue, organ organ players will argue, yeah, but you have control with your foot. On organ, you have pedals where you can control the volume, and you can also play bass notes with your left foot, play bass notes, and the right foot controls the volume. Now, that's their argument that you can control the volume while you're playing, therefore, it doesn't matter. You will have the same effect as a weighted keyboard. Well, here's my argument to that. That still doesn't make sense. I would so rather be able to control volume and the way something is played with my hands that are actually playing the keys other than that added element of my foot. I'm not a drummer. I'm a piano player, an organ player. It, you, you, I'd rather not have to use my foot, which I'm already using for the piano, which has a pedal too on the right. Or if I just play that note I just played and it just keep bringing out. Organ, organ can't do that. Organ, you literally have to to make it sound connected and smooth, you have to literally contort your hands to keep your fingers in the same spot so it doesn't sound jumpy. You have to. And there's been studies that I've come across that some people that play organ for years, they get carpal tunnel or they have these problems in their hands because they're so they have to contort all the time to make sure they get the right sound that they need while all at the same time controlling their volume with your foot you don't have to do all that it's not that crucial piano you have this pedal i can come off still sound connected no contortion at all i can stay away from that now that's the beauty of it other than that, organ has an advantage as far as the different ways you can make it sound. Like different, some some organs have stops, 
Hammond, Oregon, which is my favorite organ, they have these draw bars where you actually pull out draw bars to get the sound so you can gradually get the sound you want. And they'll, you can pull it and it'll sound, you can tell from the sound if you're used to hearing a Hammond organ. So that's the advantage they have over there. But they have keyboards now for piano where you can do the same thing, if not more. And if you notice, everywhere you go, you'll see a keyboard. If you're talking about a musician, a gig, whatever, you're seeing a keyboard. You know why? Because they're, they do more now. Nowadays, especially, they do more. People venture off in the keyboard world. They have these special technologies where you can you, you can be your own band. You can have a whole drum kit going at the same time with this, blah, blah, this, blah, blah, that. All that going at the same time. You're not going to find no organ stuff doing that. So, and then the best thing about it, travel. You're not going to carry an organ in your trunk of the car if you got to play somewhere. You can carry a keyboard, though. Aha. Can't travel no organ. If you're an organ player, you can't play piano. You need your piano. So, as far as that go, I think piano wins this argument. And if I was, if my son now, I just had a baby, if he, if he wanted to venture off into some music, I would push the piano idea to him. Like, hey, how about you try to, you know, do this side. Don't worry about that organ thing over there. Not yet. All right. So other than that, yeah, piano. Not just saying it because I play it. I'm saying it because it's true.